So we are here in Hawaii. You said that's so weird. <laughs> We're here in Hawaii. Hi, I'm Phil. And I'm Adelie. And you're watching our Daily Faith. So if you're new to our channel, um, this is kind of like a weekly vlog that we do that kind of breaks down what we're doing as a missionary family. You can mm -hmm. also follow us on Instagram. That's kind of more of our live day-to-day -day of, you know, what's happening in our lives. You mm -hmm. can find us on Instagram at Our Daily Faith. If you're interested in getting notifications on when we have new content available, you can sign up to get text messages at... 902-905-6337. And I'll put that on the screen so that you can remember it. And I'll leave it there for a little bit. Awesome. You can also catch all of our content on Patreon. And uh, we are a missionary family, so that is a way that you can help support us. Um, we also post prayer requests to that uh, to Patreon. There is a free app that you can download to your phone, uh, whether it's Android or um, Apple-based. Mm -hmm. Whether it's Android or Apple-based. So go check it out. It's patreon.com backslash Our Daily Faith. Yeah. So we're here in Hawaii. We're here in Kona, Hawaii, or Hawaii. Ho Hawaii. 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 Hawaii as the... <laughs> <laughs> the natives uh, say. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And it is hot. Like hot. you walk outside and you're drenched in sweat in mm -hmm. like five minutes. Yeah. But you don't need so, to exercise because just walking out the door and taking a couple of steps and you're sweating like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so grateful that our travel day went well because that typically mm. has been a point that a time where things get really stressful for yeah. us. And it went super well. The kids were great. Mm -hmm. They were great on the airplane. And we had no complications with anything. No delays. And no delays. I didn't have any anxiety problems or anything. Praise God yeah. for such a great travel day. Yeah. Yes! So we're so thankful for that. And now we arrived super late on Thursday night. And Friday morning we were up early for the... Um, welcoming the traditional Hawaiian welcoming ceremony, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. It's really neat how the heart of YWAM is to really honor differences and to honor different cultural differences. And so they have lots of Hawaiian influence in mm -hmm. this space here yeah. in Kona. So part of each new quarter involves the Hawaiian people welcoming new students and to staff. their land and staff mm -hmm. to their land. And we as students got to provide and present gifts to the local Hawaiian people as a way to say thank you. Thank you for hosting us, for welcoming us.
just we had a great evening celebrating yeah. um, so, Hawaiian culture. And so first, what they did was they got all of the students and staff to meet at the flags, which is kind of a central point that you you see when you first come into campus. So they had local Hawaiians who came and blew this like shell, a conch shell. Yep, to the four corners. Yeah. Um, and then they invited us to all remove our shoes because we were standing on sacred ground. And then they had us walk in the silence up this path to Ohana Court. Now, Ohana in Hawaiian means family, and that's the place where all of us on campus as a family come together to worship God. And so they had us meet there and they had this welcome ceremony and it was just really, really great. So how have you been feeling the last couple of days during this transition time? blessed and excited to start this new phase in our lives. It was also very difficult because coming from a from a seven hour time zone change, it can be really difficult to get your body into that new routine. And so overall, it's been very good. Um, there have been a couple of nights where the kids woke up in the, in the middle of the night. But I think for me, the most important thing was to have grace for ourselves and grace for our kids so that we can adjust. But I mean, how are you personally doing? Because you've had a tough couple of days. I did. I had a tough couple of days. Um, overall, a lot of spiritual attack um, since I landed here. Uh, the first two days were great, but then after that, it kind of went a little downhill for me. The enemy was telling me there was a lack of respect for me as leader of the household. And that was a bunch of lies, but he was planting himself there because he wanted to distract me from what everything that was happening. And so I struggled with that a lot, but um, Adelie, who really noticed it and was very supportive through mm -hmm. this, told me yesterday um, that I should go and just seek God in a quiet place. And so I did that. It wasn't for very long, but even just five minutes alone to just pray and ask for God to come in and intervene was so good. And it just really set the stage for, for him to dispel the lies that were happening in my life at that time. You want to come and say hi? <laughs> Hello. How do you feel about being in Kona? Good. I went to foundation school. And what did you think about foundation school? Good. Bye bye. Bye, honey. Good luck. Yeah, so getting getting alone, getting away, and just having a couple of minutes of prayer time and, and to reconnect with the Father was really good because then he just, he cleared the air for me for all that spiritual attack that was happening. So from that point on, it's been so much better and I've been feeling a lot more at peace and a lot more in God's presence, which is ultimately why we're here. Mm -hmm. What is your hope for this quarter? I think my hope for this quarter is for us to really draw together nearer as a family and to really uh, pursue God together as a family. My, I'm really excited to see how the kids are going to grow mm. and the things that they're going to be learning. So we're getting to meet some really great families. I think the really cool, exciting part about Family DTS is to meet other families and, and develop and run with other families during this season in our lives. And we've met so many cool people who have similar to us, have sold everything and decided to follow Jesus with all their heart, soul, and strength. And so it's really cool to get to know these people and get to run with them for a season, which I think is really exciting. Mm -hmm. And we get to hang out with our friends Trent and Siobhan, which is always fun and always a pleasure. I love that family. And lots and lots of other amazing families that we had met last year when we were in Kona. Mm -hmm. And it is so amazing. I am so happy to be able to see um, all of our friends, to see all of our friends again. So for anyone who's considering doing a DTS and thinking about coming to Kona to do a DTS, do you have any sort of tips for arrival? Well, we had a game plan for when we arrived so that we, we had an idea on a couple of things that were scheduled on Friday. And then we had a break on Friday afternoon. And typically, arrival day is on a Thursday. But then we, we had activities scheduled Friday morning. And then you were taking the kids th Friday afternoon. And I was able to go out and do like the big Costco run. Our top three tips for arrival. Ready? So our top three tips for arrival. Number one, 
Plan out when you're arriving and what you are doing the next day if you have a schedule. Plan to do a run to Walmart, Target, or Costco. Um, there are no shuttles to Costco, but there are shuttles on the Friday to Target and Walmart. You're going to want to get yourself set up this weekend because when you jump into DTS, you're going to be really busy. And you're not going to have a whole lot of time or energy to do things outside of that. So get yourself set up. If you need mm -hmm. to go and get a fan, if you need sheets because you didn't bring them because you can easily buy them at Walmart or Target, go and do that. Have your stuff set up that first you know, day or weekend. Mm -hmm. Tip number two, get some food for the weekend. Even though, even though your meals are included in your price as a, tip, as a student of what you pay for your fees, you will want some food for outside of that. And on Saturdays and Sunday, like Saturday's breakfast is not, it's a brunch. It's not breakfast and lunch, it's a brunch. And it's from nine to 11 and you will wake up, especially if you're on Eastern time or anything like uh, a couple of hours in the time difference, if you've come from the Eastern direction from Hawaii, you will wake up early and hungry. So to have a little bit of food that's like healthy mm -hmm. and it's not like candy for the first morning is really helpful. Um, Whether you bring that with you or yeah, get a chance to go too. and get something, because that was a really big shock for a lot of people that I talked to. Yeah. Tip three is be friendly and open. You only get one chance to make a first impression, and it can be a lot harder to come back from kind of if you're feeling cranky and you're jet lagged and you're not quite feeling like meeting a bunch of other people. But seriously, like that first weekend, that first week when you're coming in, smile. Even if you don't feel like it, it will lift your mood up and be open and friendly to people and meet people. When you need to rest, go and rest, but just try to be open and connect with people um, because you're going to be running with a lot of these people during this quarter. And trust me, your quarter will and your outreach will go so much better if you really are intentional and you invest in building those relationships. Mm -hmm. yep. So those are our top three tips for arriving at YWAM, specifically in Kona. I'm not sure if other YWAM bases operate similar or not, but those are our top three. Mm -hmm. And if anyone is interested in getting a room tour or some tips on living in dorm living, let us know because we're thinking about doing a video. So if that might be of interest to you, let us know. Yeah, you can message us on Instagram at yeah. Our Daily Faith. That's it for now, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome week, and we'll see you next week where we will break a little bit more into what we're doing at Family DTS. Farewell to PEI for now. And there is water shooting out of my ice finger.